The January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol was an act of domestic terrorism. That's the official word now from the FBI director himself, Christopher Wray. He testified before a Senate panel today for the first time since the insurrection. Director Wray told lawmakers he was <clears throat> appalled by the deadly attack and admitted that the agency needs to get better at gathering intelligence on domestic terrorists. The FBI director also noted who was not at the insurrection. He shot down the baseless claims that rioters were some sort of Antifa members or fake Trump protesters. Has there so far been any evidence that the January 6th riot here, the insurrection, was organized by people simply posing as supporters of President Trump's? We have not seen any evidence of that. So far, Ray says the FBI has arrested more than 270 suspects connected to the insurrection. He added that his agents are looking into roughly 2,000 domestic terrorism cases. CNBC's Eamon Javers now. Eamon, what about the intelligence that the FBI did get before the riots? Yeah, Chef, FBI Director Christopher Wray today refuted a claim from D.C. police that all the FBI did with the information that it had was to send a late email. Well, it's more than just an email, right? So first off, the email itself went to, uh, I think there are maybe as many as five Capitol Police Task Force officers on the Joint Terrorism Task Force, and the whole point of the Joint Terrorism Task Force is for the chosen representatives of the partner agency to be there in the loop real time. Ray said intelligence was conveyed in the email to a joint task force, also in a verbal command post briefing and on a law enforcement portal. Ray placed blame for the attack on two main groups, violent militia members and white supremacists. He also said the attack has inspired foreign terrorist groups and hostile nations have used it in their propaganda, all with the goal of accelerating the decline of America itself. But Ray spotlighted a particularly American phenomenon as one of the main reasons that law enforcement didn't clearly see the attack coming. There's just too much violent rhetoric already on social media. There is so much chatter, often unattributed to somebody in a neatly identifiable way, where people are saying unbelievably horrific, angry, combative things, using language about beheading and shooting and explosives and all kinds of things like that. Ray was also asked about the death of Capitol Police Officer Brian Sicknick, who was killed in the line of duty, but the FBI director said he can't say yet exactly how Officer Sicknick died due to the ongoing investigation. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.